All right, hey everybody, Michael Broning here. Uh, today I'm gonna show you how to import files recorded at a different place into your Cakewalk project. Uh, so this is a, a common thing uh, for me now. Um, I work with a lot of clients that don't live here. They live uh, out of town, they live in different states, different countries, um, and it's just much easier and cost-effective for them to record their parts over there, upload them to a server, I download them and put them in here. Um, so th this is uh, a way of showing you how to do it uh, quickly to get started. I know for uh, some of you, you already know how to do this, but for those who don't, here's uh, what you do. So I'm working with a saxophone player named uh, Randy Scott on this song. Uh, he recorded some horn parts. He lives in Detroit. I live here in Phoenix, so obviously that's an easy one. Uh, to see why he would record it here and uh, upload it. So I've already downloaded these tracks. Um, I have them in a folder and I'm going to pull up my Cakewalk project and import them into the project. So here's my folder. I have 13 horn tracks. Uh, I'm going to go to the bottom. We have 40 tri uh, 46 tracks here. I don't have to create a new track. Uh, you're just going to go to this little empty section here and literally just drag and drop. There it is. So it's now importing these 13 files. Uh, we'll wait for it to do its thing, and then I'll show you what to do next. Uh, what we're going to do next is I'm going to show you a quick way to get it going to test uh, to see if it's um, sounding right, um, to see if there's any timing issues, um, and just get it quickly ready for editing. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to highlight this first track 47 drag down to 59 my last one and I'm gonna put it in its own folder so we'll right click move to folder new track folder uh, and now I'm gonna name this horns and nice thing about this I solo out the horns and they're all soloed out so it's easy to work with it that way Next, um, I'm going to go, uh, as you can see, they're all directed to the master bus. So I'm going to create a new bus just for horns. So I'm going to go to the master bus section here. Right click, insert stereo bus. And bus E is the new one. I'm going to rename this horns. And you just want to make sure that horns is going to the master bus, which it is right here. Okay, so then the next thing, um, this is a cool feature. Um, we're going to direct all of these horn parts now to the horn bus. So what you want to do is hit the control button on your keyboard, left click the first one where it says master, go down to this new one you just created, horns, click it, and it moves them all to the horn section. So now they're all soloed and they're all to their own dedicated bus. Um, and I do this because uh, many times when you're working with uh, different DAWs, someone's on a Mac, someone's on Windows, vice versa, um, you get timing issues, you get volume discrepancies, it can be way out of control. So it's a nice way to just quickly test. I'm going to turn the volume way down. Uh, maybe you have to turn it way up. It depends on what it is. But now you have control over everything um, to make sure it's working. And we're just going to quickly play. There's our, our um, wave file, so we'll start it here. Sounding good? It's all working. Now I'm going to test to see if it's fine. Sounds like it's timed, so I think we're set and ready to go. Now the next part is to edit everything and... Uh, uh, I will show you that in a separate video. I'll also show you what happens when you do get timing issues. It is common, um, uh, especially if you're on Cakewalk, you will get certain issues. If you have certain issues and you want to uh, put them in the comments section, um, I can address them in a different video for you also. Um, and I'll also uh, show you uh, the next steps in here, panning everything, creating um, multiple reverbs and delays, um, so they're all grouped together, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. Um, and we'll show you that. Uh, but like I say, a lot of you already know how to do this, but for those of you who don't, this is a quick way of doing it. Uh, and once again, if you have comments, uh, leave them and I will try to address them. But that's it. Thanks. Bye.